The next speaker is the Honorable Breitenbach. Thank you, Honorable House Chair, Honorable Members. Uh, we are here to debate the failed extradition of the Gupta brothers from the United Arab Emirates to South Africa. This case has captured the attention of the nation and has raised significant questions about international cooperation, the rule of law, and the fight against corruption. First and foremost, we need to understand the context. The Gupta brothers have been at the center of corruption allegations and investigations in South Africa for several years. Accused of exerting undue influence over key government decisions, the Gupta family's alleged involvement in state capture have had severe repercussions on the country's institutions, economy, and public trust. Their extradition has been sought to hold them accountable for their alleged crimes and to restore faith in the rule of law. South African citizens expect them to be held accountable and to return the vast sums of money stolen. One wonders why they were permitted to leave in the first place. However, despite South Africa's extradition request and the extensive evidence presented, the UAE's decision not to extradite the Gupta brothers has left many baffled and disappointed. This turn, this turn of events raises concerns about the effectiveness of international cooperation in combating transnational corruption and ensuring that justice is served. One key issue that emerges from this case is the importance of a robust legal framework for extradition. Extradition treaties and agreements play a crucial role in facilitating the surrender of individuals accused of crimes across international borders. They establish the legal basis for extradition requests and outline the conditions under which extradition can be granted. The failure to secure the extradition of the Gupta brothers highlights the need for stronger extradition mechanisms and closer cooperation between countries to prevent potential loopholes and ensure that justice is not compromised. Moreover, the case underscores the significance of international political will and diplomatic efforts in extradition matters. Extradition processes can be complex, involving not only legal considerations, but also political and diplomatic dimensions. It requires close cooperation and coordination between the requesting and requested countries. The inability to secure the extradition of the Gupta brothers raises questions about the effectiveness of diplomatic engagement and the extent to which political factors influence the outcome of the case. Another critical aspect that emerges from this failed extradition is the need for international cooperation in combating corruption. Corruption is a global issue that transcends national boundaries and it demands collective action to address it effectively. The Gupta case highlights the importance of collaboration between, between countries to track illicit financial flows, share intelligence, and ensure that those accused of corruption face justice, regardless of their geographic location. The failure to extradite the Gupta brothers not only undermines South Africa's efforts to combat corruption, but also sends a discouraging, discouraging message to the international community regarding the fight against this pervasive problem. Furthermore, the failed extradition of the Gupta brother raises concerns about the integrity of global financial systems and the need for enhanced measures to prevent money laundering and illicit financial activities. The Gupta family's alleged involvement in corruption and state capture has been closely linked to illicit financial flows. This case emphasizes the importance of strengthening international financial regulations, promoting transparency and cooperating to combat money laundering and financial crimes. By doing so, we can prevent individuals from exploiting loopholes and evading justice by seeking refuge in other jurisdictions. This must start by finding out where the Guptas actually are, and it's no good, uh, Mr. Minister, gallivanting in Abu Dhabi unless we actually know that they're there. In conclusion, the failed extradition of Gupta brothers... Ah, semantics. In, in conclusion, the failed extradition of the Gupta brothers from the United Arab Emirates to South Africa has been a setback in the country's fight against corruption and the pursuit of justice. It raises concerns about international cooperation, the robustness of legal frameworks, and the need for collective action in combating corruption. As an aside, uh, Mr. Minister, I asked four weeks ago for a copy of the uh, extradition documents. I still have not received the courtesy of reply. What seems to be the problem? Uh, thank you.